I think many people have been talking about Sister Wilhelmina Lancaster. She's the first African American nun foundress founded the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of the Apostles. I was when I heard this story going around American media, it it, it took me a day or two to realize I remember 2018 when the Abbey of Our Lady of Ephesus, where she was a sister, was consecrated by the bishop at that time. Uh, if you go to their website, you'll actually see the bishop using the extraordinary form of the Roman Rite, consecrating the 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 this um, consecrating this beautiful beautiful um, be, um, abbey. And all of these young sisters, isn't this amazing? Isn't this incredible that an African-American nun did so much for this amazing community that founded this amazing uh, traditional community? I mean, look at all of these these nuns. This is where that's that I'm sure she'll be a saint one day. But this is where, you know, she came from. And it's sending an incredible message to the church, an incredible message in this time of confusion, of, you know, a lot of sadness. A lot of us feel about what's going on in the church. So Sister Wilhelmina, um, and I'm just going back to 2018. This is the newsletter. I remember this at the time um, because it was a, it was a big story back in 2018. I don't think anybody knew how big a story was going to be in 2023. Um, but it's amazing to see. It's amazing to see how beautiful our ancient Catholic traditions are. Here we have the bishop, you know, consecrating that that abbey. Look at all the nuns. Look at that. Look at this for tradition. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? And there's an Irish connection. Some Irish Benedictines went over to this at the time. Um, but it's quite amazing. It's quite amazing to see, to see the the prior, the uh, the mother abbess. She's, um, you know, uh, here, and she's and some of the novices being uh, entering, uh, religious life, being clothed. Um, isn't it amazing? Uh, and, and it's something that's truly true, good, and beautiful, um, to see. So. Mother Abbess, she's got her crozier, and um, uh, she's there with the with the Bishop Johnson, and the new Bishop Morlino. And here, down here, you can see another picture of her. And here, what a beautiful, beautiful picture of the consecrated host being held up by the bishop during the mass of dedication. So it's interesting that this nun that's now incorrupt, I think we've all seen the photos of her body, uh, you know, this this nun that's incorrupt. Um, isn't it amazing the message that she's sending to the American church, to the universal church um, from this very traditional uh, um, abbey that's, that has so many vocations. I mean, did you see this? Look, just look. Isn't it incredible? Uh, like um, even here, if we look at the, uh, uh, I'm, and I'm sure the monastery has gro grown since then, but it, it's it's amazing to see what uh, the traditional faith can do, the fruits of the traditional faith. Anyway, God bless you. Take care. Bye bye.